Hey guys, so welcome back to Persona 4 Gold, and let's carry on where we left off. A considerable amount of grinding has taken place uh, off camera, but I am proud to report that our HP has recovered, our SP has pretty much recovered, and we are level 14. Level 14? Yes. All three of us have actually reached level 14, so I think we're actually in a good position to try and finish this dungeon today, and one day on the 18th of April, with a little bit of luck and ambition, I'm sure we can do it. Luck has been on our side so far. We saw the crits that uh, happened on the boss fight in the middle of the dungeon, thanks to Chie. So here's hoping that lucky streak continues. First, I need to go into the Velvet Room. View some Personas. Hey, Igor. Huh? Oh, you came. You must come here a lot, huh? What you want this time? A Persona? A skill card? It doesn't matter to me. So why are you asking then? Excuse us, Marie. You must learn to restrain yourself. Huh? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Stupid uptight blockhead twerp. <sighs> I apologize sincerely. She is far too unruly for me to handle. <laughs> uh, I, I feel for you. <laughs> you are quite right. Nothing like uh, sharing a vehicle with someone unruly it makes the entire road trip unpleasant. However, this is all to help you on your journey. My journey? This room is inseparable from your fate. Nothing in this room happens without purpose. It seems that you and Marie had already met before you encountered her in this room. We certainly did. Had she absconded from the limo? What for? Encountering one who is not of man and communicating with her, your fate has led you to this meeting. Marie and I are connected? Unfortunately, I have no answer for that either. I mean, I did have visions of Igor before we even met uh, Marie in the train station. This room is the crossroads of your fates. You, the customer, and she who is not of man, who has wandered into this place and made herself comfortable beside Igor. Where will this meeting lead? Excuse me for saying so, but... We, too, are a bit interested in the outcome. Though she was in this land before you, in the end, Marie is not of man. In other words, her understanding of the world in which you live is incomplete. Therefore, I ask of you to please take her outside this room, if you would. Right, so, like, touring the wardens around Tokyo in Persona 5. But, of course... You are occupied at the moment, visiting the interior of the television world. Please ask her to go with you when you have time on your hands. Okay, Marie? Yep, I'm gonna teach you how to fit into society. Whatever. Well, never mind. You're blushing, you're blushing. It seems Marie is interested in leaving this place. You should speak with her once you have left the TV world. Sure, I'll keep that in mind. For now, though, it's time to fuse some personas. Let's get started. All right, I'll give you a quick explanation about cloning skill cards. If you give me the cards you have, I can clone them. You'll lose the skill cards you give me, but after that, you'll be able to buy as many of them as you like. Oh, the prices will be different depending on the skill card's effect, so keep that in mind. If you want to strengthen your personas, you should clone a lot of cards. I see. So we could buy skill cards and give skill cards. Otherwise, we'll just use them out in the real world, so... Hmm. Maybe we should just register them, register them all. Okay, we've got a Kusith. Izanagi is still in our position, and Oberon has joined the team. Let's head back to floor 7 and see how much farther we can advance. Okay, let's do this. Uh, it's also my understanding that we can go back to past dungeons whenever we like, but it doesn't seem to be the case as of right now. I've tried talking to Teddy, Chie, Yosuke. None of them are willing to direct me back to where Yosuke had his awakening because all I've got is the option to search for Yukiko. So maybe we need to take care of that first. In any case, let's head on up. Yukiko! Yukiko! Oh, golden hand! Straight off the bat! Come back here, you little squirt! A rare monster! Beat the stuffing out of it! Come on, let's try and crit it. Hopefully Chie's still got skin. the luck One on her side. Fight, fight, fight! Skewer it. Right in the palm. Oh, great. We missed. Oh, and I get slapped for it. 
It's waiting restlessly, waiting for an ass kicking, but none of us seem to be giving it. There we go. Yosuke is the one. High five the hand of sorts. There we are. Shuffle time on top of that. Oof, not a bad haul of XP and money. I do have to say thanks as well for all the combat tips and tricks you guys gave me in the comment section uh, of the previous episode. Please keep doing so. I'm... All ears. <laughs> Sorry, the shadow jumping out of the box kind of just surprised me. <laughs> there are two enemies! Hang in there! I had a brief mental shutdown. Okay, let's get started. Man, I haven't faced these enemies in a while. I'm so used to the level... One, two, and three enemies down below. <laughs> My 20 endurance. Cool, you leveled up! Level up. Should have known that uh, we're still grinding all the way up to the top of the tower. Level 15. You sense another change is about to occur within you. You can now store up to eight personas. I'll take it. Damn, another... A rare monster! Rare monster Beat jumping out of, out of jumping it. out of the box. Come on, all it takes is one crit. Someone it's so close, it and it's running away, son of a bitch. Great work! No, Teddy, that was not good work. What the heck are you smoking? Oh, lost all that HP. For nothing. Nothing to show for it. Enemy reinforcement! Hurry oh. and beat them! The mini boss is here. He's joining us for a regular fight now. There's a three of these monster. buggers now? Beat the stuffing out of it! I don't think we've got any chance against these guys. We might as well escape. Okay, I'll look for an opening for you! <laughs> the enemy ran away! Hurrah! Oh, there! Now's your chance to run! Now we're good. I like how you give us a chance to run after everyone else has pretty much already ran away. <laughs> They escaped first. And there he goes. Great work! No, Teddy, again, that was not good work. By the time you found an escape route, they are the ones who escaped first. At least I got a snuff Sensei, soul. Out are of it. you okay? Your health's low. I'll take it. Alright, well, we found the stairs. Let's move up to level eight. Here we go. Huh? This smell is. It must be her! She's right behind this door! Open the door. Oh, she's, she's here already? Damn it, I was one floor away. Uh, not right now. Hang on. Let's sort out our SP and HP before we head on inside. Call for an SOS. Pull out all the stops. This may be the boss. Okay, are we ready? We have reached level 16. Here's hoping that's enough to take down whatever's behind this door. Whether it's another mini boss or Yukiko herself. Let's find out. There she is. Your knights in shining armor have arrived. Oh, there's the real Yukiko, Yukiko as well. She's wearing her kimono. I knew it. There's two of her. What's wrong with her? Is she okay? Is she catatonic? Oh? Ooh, what's this? Hello. Three princes are here to see me. My, my. Three princes? Are you referring to Chie as a prince, or is that Teddy? Are you the surprise guests who came in late? Uh, sort of. Better late than never. Oh, I wish I'd gotten a better look at you. Next time, don't sick so many shadows on us and stuff them in treasure boxes. My, it's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? Who are you talking to? Sowaku Senior, he is the most handsome of the lot. A land far, far away where no one knows me. If you're my prince, you'd take me there, won't you? Yeah, I'm taking you far, far away. Back to reality, Yukiko. We gotta get the hell out of here. Come on. Pretty please? Oh! Is this scoring a hot stud? Mmm... Maybe not quite in this instance, Teddy. Three princes? Wait, does that include me too? That's what I asked. Duh! The third one's gotta be me. <laughs> I seriously doubt that. Oh. Chie. <laughs> yes, she's my prince. Oh, Yukiko is referring to Chie as her prince. Sorry, Teddy, I think that just makes you the court jester. She always leads the way. Chie's a strong prince. Hmm. Or at least she was. Was? Was? 
When it comes down to it, Chi is just not good enough. Oof. She can't take me away from here. She can't save me. Yukiko. And who, pray tell, can save you? Stop. Oh, she's conscious, at least. Historic in Manager training? I'm sick of all these things chaining me down! I never asked to be born here. Everything's decided for me, from how I live to where I die. I see. I'm so sick of it! To hell with it all! You feel like you're a slave to your circumstances. Because you were born into this family that runs this inn and they're expecting you to run the inn, continuing the family legacy. They basically decided everything for you. Short of an arranged marriage of sorts, but if it was up to them, they'd probably choose that as well. That's not true. Is that it? All these expectations placed upon you and you feel like you have to live up to them? I just want to go somewhere far away. Anywhere but here. Someone please take me away. I can't leave here on my own. God, imagine being trapped in this castle, listening to your darkest thoughts over and over. I'm completely useless. And if we never came, she would have been killed by the manifestation of her thoughts. Stop. Please stop. She looks so tired and weary, mentally drained. I have no hope if I stay, and no courage to leave. She feels like she's trapped between a rock and a hard place. I understand that fear. The fear of change, of going out and exploring, but then you kind of don't want to stay in your safe zone this entire time. You want, you want a little bit of risk, but you want it in a controlled, safe way, and venturing out on her own probably wouldn't do the trick. She probably feels that she's too naive. So I sit on my ass, hoping that someday my prince will come. Oof. I don't care where we go. Anywhere's fine. As long as it's not here, I don't give a damn. I can understand that. Wanting change, but being too afraid to take the step to change. Historical having that tradition. Courage. Pride of the town. What a bunch of bullshit. How dare dare you? Ooh, and that cuts because Chie is the one who said that uh, the inn is the pride of Inaba. That's how I really feel. Isn't that right, me? Well, all that dirty laundry's been aired now. No! No, don't say it! Yukiko, please! Stop! Don't say it! Yeah, please don't! No! You're not me! She said it. She fucking said it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Oh, this feels wonderful. It's building more and more. If this keeps up, I'll... I'll... Turn into some warped version that I'll need to analyze in 10 seconds before I have to fight you? <laughs> Here we go, lads and lasses, and mascots. Oh, shit. Phoenix. Uh, Yukiko! We have to stop it. That girl's in danger. Of course, a bird trapped in a cage, wanting to spread her wings, but having nowhere to go. Birds belong out in the open, and she feels like she's been constricted this entire time. There's the heart on her chest, which represents, what, her, her jealousy for... For love and lust? Oh, no, I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm going off track, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna we leave know. the heart. It's alright, Yukiko. Just hang in there. We'll save you! We've all gone through it. Well, my friends have. I haven't. <laughs> Here we go. Because it's a I boss. I am a shadow. The true self. I doubt it has weaknesses. Now, my prince, why don't we dance and make merry together? <laughs> she is the one seeking a prince, so I suppose that's where the heart comes in as well. Hang in there, Yukiko! I'm right here for you! Oh, really? Then I'll make sure to give you plenty to deal with! Give us all you got. We'll still take care of you. Right. Where do we even begin with this? Let's start by decreasing her defense. I think that's a good start. Allowing us to do extra damage to her. Right. Let's go for a bash. 
I love the boss music in this game. It's just... I, I love all the tracks, okay? Okay. Chie, how about you increase my attack? I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling cocky. Oh, nice dodge. And in return, I'll boost Chie's attack. Since we don't have the uh, ability to increase everyone's attack at the same time. Bash! Skewer. Nice, 124 damage. Oh, missed again. Come on, Yukiko. Maybe you don't want to battle us after all. Keep it up. I don't know how many times she's going to miss, though, so let's get all our hits in while we what? can. Are you trying to make me mad? You're the one that's already red. White wall. Ice resistance increased. That's fine with me. Uh, let's extend her decrease in defense. We're using all the SP we can. Bash. I should probably check if his magic or uh, strength is actually higher. In the meantime, keep skewering. Chie is definitely a physical type and she's got ice resistance. Has a passionate stare. Uh, I'm just guarding everyone. I don't know what to expect. Burn to ashes. All of us. Okay, good. Lucky I went for everyone then. Chie, increase in attack, please. Okay, strength is higher, so we'll continue with the bash. Might need to get some healing in soon. Skewer. Let's make the most of our increased attack. No need to boost my own attack there. Ow. Uh, sensei! How dare you! Oh, Sensei's back on his feet! Sorry, yeah, I'm weak to fire. Big deal. Come on, we're halfway already. We can do this. <laughs> we're not done yet. Show me this strength of yours. Isn't that what I've been doing this entire time? Come, my prince. <laughs> Are you summoning something? Oh, shit, she is. Of course. Charming prince Yosuke has arrived. barely has any health! He sure does. Let's heal him. All right, let's start focusing on the charming prince. Get rid of it. It's quite strong. Come on. Yeah. Maka jam. Oh, silence. I'm guessing that prevents us from using our magic skills? Or any skills? Not quite sure. Uh, let's decrease its defense. Chi-chan can't use her persona! Yeah, so no persona at all. Which means we're just gonna do regular attacks, which is fine. She's quite strong. If only she actually landed the attack. Ow. Oh, dude, I need to, I need to get off this persona. Oh, no! Chi-chan's hurt! Shit, I wasn't expecting her. that. Okay, this time we're leading with Oberon. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the decrease defense. I am a shadow, the true self. Skill, so we're gonna need to now, make do. Now, my prince, why don't we dance and make merry together? <laughs> yes, let's try that again. Ready? Well, thank you, random online stranger. I could use the 2 SP and <laughs> 6 health. Turns out she does have a weakness. All right, guys, pile on! Damn it, she was a boss, and I figured, you know what? She doesn't have a weakness, because she's a boss. But then she kept using Ice Wall, and I was like, hang on a second. Let's give it one shot. She is a phoenix, after all, dispelling fire attacks. Gotcha. All out attack. Ha! Let's go. I think I went through this entire fight without even doing that once. Embarrassing. <laughs> good, good, I like. I like that. <laughs> We're not done yet. Show me this strength of yours. Here comes the summoning. Come, my prince. <laughs> Great moves, Chie. Come on. Come on. We actually get to double attack because she summoned someone. Only for us to get silenced. You little... Little what now? Yeah, retreat back into your cage. Your little Chie safe Chan zone. can't use her persona! You know what? Just in case, I'm gonna guard. Guard. Chie Chan can't guard. use her persona! Okay, never mind. That went well. 
Double fangs. Guard. Might as well since you're silenced. Oh, you're shitting me. Get out of there with your diorama. Now she's got a passion Gee, stick. can't use her persona! Damn it, sometimes it warns me, sometimes it doesn't. At least you're back. I'll take that. And it missed! Which means we don't lose our guard. Excellent. Uh, double fangs. Let's burst down Yukiko's shadow. Bufu times two, please. Maybe I'm just gonna take Great advantage move, of Jin. Charming Prince and sitting in the corner there. Still missed. <laughs> That's how my prince should be. Yosuke's dizzy! Oh, Charming Prince has run prince. away. My dear prince! Can't deal with Yukiko, she's too needy. She's a trademark nice girl. Oh, she had to summon someone else? Why? Why won't he come? Damn, they're about as loyal as Okuma's workers. No one's coming! Now's your chance to attack! Sure is. Skewer. I think she's still got her ice resistance. <laughs> Looks like I had the wrong idea. What's up? You're no princes! Die, you worthless commoners! You're dying to these commoners, you know. Oh, fear. Yosuke scared! Hopefully he doesn't run away, too. He might chase after the Charming Prince. Double fangs. This guy's paralyzed with fear, of course he is. Skewer. There we go, Ice Resistance has finally reverted. What's she doing? Yosuke's hurt! Ending Someone Yosuke. do something! Yeah, yeah, on it, on it. He's not gonna miss out on the XP and money. Well, he's gonna get the money either way, but he's not she gonna miss out on the XP. really hurting! Heal her! Damn, our attack reverts just in time for the Bufu. That's fine. Here's our chance! Okay! Here we go. This is it! Can't do our double attack anymore. In a way, that was very useful. And thankfully, she hasn't used Agi on... There! on Chie because she's weak to fire, isn't she? Fufu! Yeah. There we go, we're so close! Let's do it. Come on! It oh shit. Chie just had to first. do it now. Someone help her! That's not how it's supposed to work. You have to escort me. Yeah, well, thankfully I'm resistant to fire. Learn from my mistake. Yosuke, my boy, you're up first. Thankfully, I've been collecting these revival beads. Everyone on their feet. Bufu, once again. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn, I forgot she's resisting it. Yosuke, scared! Yosuke, you can make a move, even though you're scared? Okay. Uh, please. Let me heal. Thanks, buddy. You've done well. Skewer. Oh, turns out it wasn't even necessary. Chandelier's crashed. Bird has her wings clipped. We get a bunch of money and XP. All right, I leveled up. Looks like we've graduated from princes to kings. This entire castle was a chessboard, pretty much. Uh. Yukiko. Yukiko. You're okay. Yukiko, are you hurt? No, I'm not. You're not hurt physically? What about mentally? We understand. You're not the only one like that, Yukiko-san. Everyone has something they can't show to other people, or don't want to admit to themselves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yukiko, I'm sorry. And, unfortunately, there's no room for misinterpretation here. The Shadow's gonna tell it as it is. It's not like some diary where we can mis misconstrue some of the words and feelings and meanings. We are literally seeing your cognition before our eyes. I was so self-centered that I never understood what you were going through. I'm your friend, and I still... I'm so sorry. <sighs> oh, poor Chie. Chie. She's had a big revelation this entire experience. I was always jealous of you, Yukiko. Look at Teddy just standing in the background, just like, pleased and proud of what we've accomplished here. You had everything that I didn't. 
That jealousy was like a wall and I was so lonely. I wanted you to need me, but it was me who needed you. Turns out you're both dependent on each other, huh? I can't do anything right on my own. I've caused so much trouble for Yosuke and the others. Yeah, that's not true. You've also caused some... some good things as well, like those crits on the miniboss. Chie, you're awesome. You're all awesome! I love you all! Already! And it's only the first freaking... oh, sorry. The second week. First month. If you weren't by my side, I... I wouldn't know what to do. Chie... I never saw the real you, either. I was too busy trying to find an easy way out. Unfortunately, there is no easy way out. If you want your own experiences, you gotta... You gotta build the courage. No one's gonna do it for you. I wanna run away. I want someone to save me. You're right. Those feelings are part of me, too. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. I used to have those feelings. I understand now. You're me. Wanting to get away, see if it, see if anyone would ever would ever notice, and go on a big adventure, get away from what I know, start again. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Whoa, that looks awesome, Yukiko. Yukiko has faced her other self. She's obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona, Konohana Sakuya. Yukiko! Come on, let's get you Are out you of okay? here. Are you okay? Let's get you home. Yes, I'm just a little tired. You all came to rescue me. Yes. Of course! Thank you. <laughs> Don't even mention it. I'm just so glad you're safe. God, Chie is gonna cry herself to sleep tonight. The whole way down, back through Juness. <laughs> right on. The walk home. So, who threw you in here? <laughs> huh? Who are you? Titty's just like, I just wanna know what's going on to my own residence, okay? What's happening? Rather, what are you? Uh, we, we took his head off. There was nothing inside, so make of that what you will, Yukiko. I'm Teddy! So who threw you in? <laughs> I don't know. Of course she doesn't know. I think... someone called my name. But my memory's a blur. I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry... um... Teddy? Someone called your name? No new clues. And then what, threw you through a TV? Not necessarily. Now we know for sure that someone threw Yukiko-san in here. Hmm. Hmm. Then it really isn't you guys. Of course it wasn't. If you've just been trailing us this entire time trying to gather evidence, which for some reason you think is food, <laughs> and you thought that maybe we were still responsible for this? You still suspected us? <laughs> no, 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 no! Absolutely not! I will take your head off, Bear. And throw it in the real world, and then what? You can't bite my fingers anymore. You little... You're one lying sack of honey. Honey's actually sweet, Yosuke. <laughs> oh, I'm just ribbing on Teddy. He's... Anyways, let's hurry back home. Yukiko looks exhausted. He's a character. Thanks again, Teddy. Cheers, Teddy. Let's go back. Huh. Wait, you're leaving me here? Ugh. <sighs> Of course we're not gonna leave you, Teddy. Jeez. We need a way back. So, yeah, lead us there, please. <laughs> Leaving you? What are you talking about? You live here. Well, yeah, but... Jeez, what, you wanna leave here now as well? You taking Yukiko's desires to heart? I'm sorry, Teddy. I promise to come again. <laughs> Aw, Yukiko's too sweet. She's literally met Teddy. All, for ten, all of ten seconds. So be a good boy and wait here until then. And she's making promises. Oh, Lady Yukiko. My, it's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? <laughs> Come on, pretty please. Uh, the entire town's missing her, Teddy. We need to get her back. Ah, you're giving me the creeps. That's it, you're stuck here for the rest of your life. <laughs> Yukiko, are you alright? 
You're not hurt anywhere, are you? Yeah, you're still in your kimono, so... Uh... What does that mean? Uh, in terms of you disappearing, what... What time? No, I'm just a little tired. How did you get in there? I'm sorry, but I don't remember anything. Damn it, not even a single little thread. Well, no worries. You're safe, and that's more than enough. Chie's just happy we saved her life, which is true. That is a victory for us. This is our first, our first time. But there's no mistake that Yukiko-san was, um... Targeted for murder. Why? Who? Are they gonna be disappointed? D uh, upset that Yukiko managed to escape? Will they try again? Attacked the same way as the last two victims. And I think the one we saw on the Midnight Channel wasn't the real Yukiko-san, but her shadow. Yeah, so why was her shadow appearing? Maybe the things Yukiko-san was suppressing in this world took form in the TV. You know, right. Teddy was saying something like that. Because she wasn't trapped then, right? Or something like that? <sighs> it's no use. I'm just going round and round in circles. Our investigation has literally just begun, Yosuke. What kind of person could be doing this? Let's call it a day. You're worried about Yukiko's condition right now. I was about to say that. Yukiko needs some rest. Last thing she needs is to listen to us ramble on about theories that we have no you know, basis on. Your understanding has increased. Oh, there we go. I'll take it. Yeah, we can go over it some other day. Yukiko really needs to get some rest. I'll take her home. Thanks, G.A. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yukiko-san must be exhausted. Jeez, and you were wondering why I wasn't asking about you. And only concerned about your bike. You do the same thing, Yosuke. We'll talk about all this some more once she gets her strength back. Yeah. You were able to rescue Yukiko safely, but this case's mysteries have deepened even further. For now, you should wait for Yukiko to recover. A prince appears as the achievement unlocked. Oh, Nanako's always so happy. Oh, hello, um, Adachi. Hello. Hi there. I can't tell who looks more tired, Adachi or... Uh, we got off work at the same time, so I'm giving him a ride back to his place. I thought we might as well swing by. Nice to meet you. I'm Adachi, the guy who's been your dad's slave since spring. <laughs> I can still work you harder, you know. What a thing to say. <laughs> a good one, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just going to your boss's place and talking to the boss's family members. Uh, yeah, my boss is right, or your dad is okay. He just, you know... Thinks of me as a slave and drives me to the ground. Oh, I almost forgot. You're friends with Yukiko Amagi, right? I sure am. Why do you ask? They found her safe and sound. Tell all your friends at school. Yeah, well, it didn't help that you guys considered her a suspect in Saki's murder. <laughs> we all know already. That's a relief. Yeah, for us on the force, too. But... This doesn't mean the case is closed, though. We were just questioning Miss Amagi, but she says she doesn't remember anything that happened while she was missing. Wow. I thought Chie took her home, and then you guys just happened to pick her up and take her to the station again? And we can't figure out her whereabouts during the missing period, either. It's like she really disappeared. Yeah, really? It's all pretty fishy, if you ask me. Like there's something else going on. Holy shit. You might actually be a detective. <laughs> Stop blabbering, dumbass. Yeah, just tell us all the details of the case. Thank goodness we're not the journalist squad, we're the investigation team. Sorry. Ignore him. He's just spouting some wild fantasy. Of course he is. I'll forget. Are you doubting Yukiko? Don't worry. The police aren't common hayseeds who believe everything they hear. Okay, just checking, just checking. Gotta defend Yukiko. He's just muttering to himself. Don't take it seriously. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're right. My stomach's growling too. Adachi, pitch us some dominoes. <laughs> so you do have a softer side around Nanako-chan, sir. <laughs> Shut up and sit down. And wash those hands first. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
I should do the same. God, can't take a dachi anywhere. Dinner promises to be lively for once. Well, it's all a happy ending. For now. Still got a whole school year ahead of us. Pee 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 pee. Hello. Oh, hello. I realize this is sudden, but I'm Margaret. We met at the Velvet Room the other day. Hello, Margaret. How did you get my number? You calling me from the limousine? There is one important point I forgot to warn you about. So I thought it best to contact you immediately. You forgot to warn me about something and you're only telling me now after we've already cleared the castle? Oh, God. The bonds created through social links are another important means of strengthening the powers of your persona. Right, 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 right. Though you may be pressed for time, devoting yourself to battles will not quench your heart's yearnings. Gotta get that sweet arcana burst. Do not hasten heedlessly through your days. And remember the importance of moving at a sustainable pace. Yeah, I kind of disregarded that last part when we tried to clear the dungeon in one day and pushed Yosuke and Chie to the very limit. Please remember that. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Sure. Excused. Oh, what a flip. Gotta miss flip phones. Nowadays we got phones that are getting bigger and bigger for some reason. Can hardly fit in my hand and in my pocket. You took Margaret's advice to heart. You should think carefully about how you spend your days. Like, seriously, if I want a big phone, I'll just get a tablet. Male student in a sweatsuit. Yo. Oh, what's up? You got morning practice? You can hear the two talking. Probably because I'm stalking them. Right behind him. You know how guys can join the sports club starting today, right? I thought that maybe if I ran around a little, that would be some good promotion. Dude, if you run around in that, how are people going to know which club you're in? <laughs> are you in the track team? I didn't think about that. <laughs> That's classic you. I hope our club gets some fresh blood too. It gets everyone excited. Are you guys not going to try and get the people to sign up? I don't know about that. Everyone's saying they want a girl to be our manager, though. Well, Yukiko, I don't think, is up to the task. She doesn't want to be managing the Amagi Inn, let alone your club. Oh, hey, let's stop by the shrine in the shopping district on our way home today. Might as well pray for some newcomers. We're leaving that up to God now? Well, all right. Oh, yeah, did you hear about that rumor? About that thing that lives at the shrine? I did. I wonder if it's true. Oh, boy. <laughs> that guy's running to class. We have certainly heard that rumor, though, but we don't have the courage to visit there at night. Classes have ended for today. You are waiting for Yukiko to recover. You recall being told that you can join a sports club. Maybe you can find out how to join at the faculty office. You will have opportunities to meet people in town or at school. You may build social links with some of these people through your interactions with them. Time will pass as you build your social links. However, your friendships will influence the result of a fused persona. If you create a persona of the same arcana as the social link you've built, that persona is granted an experience bonus after the fusion. Seek out the people with whom you can build social links. Okay, well, I don't even know where to start with our free time. I was so focused on getting through the dungeon that now I'm kind of gobsmacked at the kind of freedom we've got going for us. I do know that there's someone on the school roof that I need to pay a visit to. I need to challenge the funky student as well. Reclaim my honor and glory. Actually, before we head on up, let's just talk with our classmates, see if they've got anything new to say now that we've rescued Yukiko. But if they don't, I can always edit this part out. So just for completion's sake, I'll check. The sports clubs are currently recruiting new members. You can only join one of them, though. If you want to learn more, maybe you should go to the faculty office. Huh? The faculty office is the classroom on the first floor, at the end of the hall near the front door. Don't get lost, transfer student. Sorry, I mean, I, it's only my second week, and if I do get lost, I can always talk to this girl over here, right? A murder? Uh, I guess I'll go straight home. I can't think of a safer place to be right now. Why don't you do that, too? Uh, I need to make sure I don't waste my days, sir. A monkey son hasn't been around lately. I mean, there were a few times last year when she wasn't here for a while. But not like this. I thought it might be nice to skip school, but seeing what happened to her, if it was me, I'd be scared. But even if I was so scared I cried, I'd still come to school. Yeah, well, I don't think that helps Saki that much either. She got killed for finding a body on the way back home from school. And she was found in her school uniform, wasn't she? Yukiko-san isn't coming, is she? Is she still busy at home? Honestly, she's just taking time off school to help out her family, isn't she? It's like that girl gets special treatment. Uh, yeah. If only you knew what she's been through for the past couple of days. Maybe you wouldn't be 
making up such phony tales. This is the library. Are you going to go in? It's the perfect place to study. Nice and quiet, but I like to wait for the perfect opportunity. If you study on rainy days, the whole town's so quiet, you can make lots of progress. But sometimes I don't have the courage to go inside. This is Senpai is in there. Our eyes finally met the other day, but I ended up running away. Even today, I have to challenge myself to go inside. I wonder if people think I'm weird. I mean... It's not uncommon, I suppose, for high schoolers, especially shy high schoolers, but... Come on, shy student, you can do this. All you have to do is get started. Opening the door and stepping foot inside is the hardest part. Once you're committed, it gets easier from there. So, I'm gonna open the door to the library and you follow, okay? Here we go. This is the library. You can study here efficiently. There are many facilities in the town or your school that you can utilize to raise your attributes. When these attributes reach sufficient levels, you may meet new people or become able to accept new challenges. So our social stats. Spend time at the library. Uh, no. Will it force me to study if I say yes? Oh, I'm sorry, shy student. This is a conquest you need to figure out on your own. I like how there's a solitary locker there. Where's everyone else's? All right, funky student. Let's dance. I'm here for a rematch. Oh, it's you again. You looking for a payback? I accept your challenge. Looks like your spirit is willing. Let's see if your mind can vibe to this. Real time. I'm gonna drop some stuff into two distinct categories. At the end, you gotta drop the last item into the proper category. Can you dig it? Red's group A. Gray's group B. White's putting it down for group A. Orange has a group B tattoo. So we've got red, white for group A and gray, orange for group B so far. Green's A for Sheezy. Pink is group B times infinity. Alright, so which group does black belong to? A or B? Holla! Okay, so we know he asks about car colors and flag colors. Orange and pink and gray. They don't seem like flag colors. I feel like they're more car colors. Even then top car colors pink I don't see many pink cars around I see a lot of gray ones but not pink not orange either red white and green was it um, I don't see many green green cars I've seen a fair few red and white maybe it's flags let's go for group a for now oh yeah so tell me what all those items have in common. Give it to me. Okay, so... Right, so he doesn't confirm if we're wrong straight away. Um, which is what I kind of suspected. So for all I know, Group B was wrong entirely. Uh, car colors or flag colors? Black. Uh, Germany, Jamaica, Kenya, Botswana. What else is black? I'm sure there's a lot more. Does... South Korea account with the corners. Um, green's on a lot. Red's on a lot. White's on a lot. Let's try flag colors this time. Yay, yeah, hey, uh, your mind is a beautiful thing and you are not letting it go to waste, yo. Way to be. Oh, got it right. <laughs> Since you're down with vexillology, you knew that group A was four of the six most prevalent world flag colors. Uh, yes, I totally knew. <laughs> Honestly, it was a semi-educated guess. The other two to round out the top six are blue and yellow. Ah. Huh. I must say that I wasn't expecting a second year to have such trenchant insight. But you have passed, and I now dub you my riddle brother. Here's a little something something. Received chess key times three. Where'd you get this from? Completed quest one, who's the riddle master? Hooray. Ha! In your face, funky student. I'm the chat around here, thank you very much. People's bicycles stop for me, you know. Right, and on the roof... Oh, we've got solar panels. What a self-sustaining school. Nice, we've got a fence up, so it's not so easy for tragedies to happen. Um, no one's got the quest icon up here, but I'll be happy to talk with them. I want to be a meteorologist when I get older. Want me to give you a weather forecast? Okay, you just gave it to me anyway. I didn't even ask. This is my prediction for the next week's weather, starting tomorrow. There we are. I'm always right. I hope you are. Lives depend on it, you know. Oh, you're from our class. Waku Senior-kun, wasn't it? 
you came from the city, right? How nice. You know, I want to go to a university in one of the bigger cities. My parents are against it, though. But I have a dream, and my friends are going to be with me, too. I'm going to go to college no matter what. Of course you are. Dream big, like we are. Well, we're on the first floor. Let's try signing up to one of the clubs. I don't know where to even begin, though. What club would be good? Do I talk to you? So, you and Yukio-san. I've challenged some mountains in my time, but she's the Everest of Yasugami. That's one mountain I refuse to climb. <laughs> uh, please don't climb, Yukiko. She's been through enough. This is the faculty office. Maybe you can inquire about joining a club. Uh, yeah, let's go inside and ask about clubs. Oh, for God's sake. Of course you're in here, Mr. Moroka. Oh, God, look at you. You're tiny. How's the weather down there, short stuff? Maybe you can ask the girl on the roof. <laughs> eh? You want to join a club? Oh, no. I know what you're really after. You're just trolling for girls, aren't you? Admit it! Is that why you're in here running the clubs? You know which clubs have the most girls in it? Listen up. A club is supposed to be... For some reason, you find yourself getting lectured. <laughs> so, you still want to join a club? Uh, okay, so we've got sports clubs, cultural clubs, multiple clubs? Well, let's just ask about all of them. Trying to break a youthful sweat, are you? You can join either the soccer club or the basketball club. After leaving the faculty office, make a left and go through the exit down the hall to go to where the sports clubs meet. By the way, club days are Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Sports clubs don't meet on rainy days, got it? So are we done here? Nope, I'm gonna ask you about everything. Cultural clubs. Huh, <laughs> too bad. You can join the cultural clubs after April 25th. This must be a lesson that it's not so easy to meet girls now, is it? Uh, trust me, I'm not gonna have too much trouble. I don't need a club to meet girls. Ask about multiple clubs. Two cultural clubs at the same time? Are you trying to get the most out of your school life? We don't allow students to be in two sports clubs or two cultural clubs. One of each is permitted, got it? So are we done here? Can I switch between clubs? Hmm. Go home already. Are you staying at school to hang out with a girl later on or something? You're projecting again, Moroka. Thankfully, I don't think anyone here wants to be queen moron. Alright, where did he say we need to go? Make a left. You can go to the gym or field from here. It seems the clubs are practicing. Do you want to join the basketball or the soccer club? Come to think of it, you recall Igor's words. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your, so your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. You wonder if you can create a social link here. Will you join the basketball or soccer club? Uh, can... I don't know. Let's take a tour first. I need all the information before I can make a decision. Yasugami High Gym. Watch the basketball team. Nice shot. Alright, let's run some basic drills. Probably botched the whole voice up. They got a portrait. But then again, we saw Saki had a portrait, too. Yasugami High Field. You watch the soccer team. Nice kick. Alright, line up. It's time for everyone's favorite. Sprints! Hey, you're the guy we saw this morning. Oh, he's gonna want me to join the team. Oh, the other guy was also playing basketball. I see. Well, to be honest, I am more of a basketball guy than soccer. I can't stomach watching people pass a ball back and forth only for one goal to get scored in an entire soccer game. Whereas basketball is fast paced and uh, I quite enjoy the sport. And because I'm somewhat tall, everyone's constantly asking me, do you play basketball? Do you play basketball? No, I don't play fucking basketball. Just because I'm tall. I'm not even that tall. I'm 5'11", for goodness sake. Alright, join the basketball club. Enough ranting. You prayed and you shall receive me! Sowaku Senior. I'm point guard. Alright guys, listen up. You have a new teammate. teammate. You all know Sowaku Senior, right? He's from the city, so I'm sure he's got some new moves he's waiting to show off. I'd say this season is in the bag. I'm even thinking about making him captain. Holy sh The universe bends to my will. It sounds good to me. Voting is a big pain anyway. Here, why don't you say something to the team? I'm your new captain. Cool, that takes care of that. <laughs> Done. The team is goofing around. Well, you guys can take it from here. I'm gonna go check on the soccer team. So why don't you just watch for today, alright? I'm taking off now. 
team practice a little and left. Hey. Hey. What do you think of your first day here? Oh yeah, I'm Koichijo. Second year, same as you. Nice to meet you. Good to see someone else take an interest in the team. Ugh, <sighs> I'm beat. Ko, aren't you done yet? Oh. Is this the new guy? <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? He's the transfer student. Hmm, that's cool. Daisuke Nagase, nice to meet you. Daisuke Nagase, nice to meet you too. Sorry I didn't join the soccer team. I can only join one club at a time. Uh, otherwise I'll be captain of your team. Soccer team, second year. Ko and I go way back. Yeah, too far back. I'm getting sick of seeing your face. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Did everyone take off early, like usual? Yep. I suggested we work on rebounding, but they were all like, "That's too tiring." So all we did was take a few shots. <laughs> Great. You know, basketball is more than just shooting in the hoop. Mm, but I shouldn't scare So with my bitching on his first day. I've got a lot of members who don't show up to practice, but basketball's fun. You played before, right? <laughs> I used to play all the time. Huh, a little. Really? Yeah, I played some b-ball. You know, taking some pickup games in the park of Tokyo. Theater Kashira. I don't even know if there's a basketball court there. I'm just making things up you wouldn't even know. Anyway, you guys live in the countryside. <laughs> Good to know. We got some guys on the team that don't even know the rules. Oh, shit. Okay. He became friends with Ko Ichijo of the basketball team and Daisuke Nagase of the soccer team feel a faint bond forming between the three of you. Oh, there we go. What do we have here? Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the strength arcana. Of course, it's strength. This is physical, after all. Good. You've established the fellow athletes social link of the Strength Arcana, right, with both of them combined. You may earn an XP bonus when fusing Personas of the Strength Arcana, so I don't miss out on anything uh, by joining basketball over soccer, or, or vice versa. That's nice. I was kind of worried about that. Oh yeah, do you know the practice schedule? We meet on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. It's a simple sport, but if you do it right, I'm sure you'll toughen up. Oh, there's no practice on rainy days either, because the other clubs take over the gym. <sighs> Sometimes it sucks being such a small team. And, of course, we don't practice the week before exams. Are you stuck polishing the balls again? Yeah, while they go to their parties, I get to stay here and play with balls. I love them balls! <laughs> okay, well, as long as you polish them real good. Man, I want to go party too! I'll help you. Let's get this done and get out of here. Be, <laughs> be an ass and leave. I'll help out. I'm trying to form huh? bonds. You do that? You're a real pal, man. I think I'm tearing up. Oh, jeez, he's getting emotional, and we've only just started our bond. Imagine what... I don't know what the r top rank is, but imagine if when we reach that. Ko was exuberant. He decided to go home after helping. Welcome home! Thanks, Nanako. It seems Dojima isn't home. Sneak out to the town at night? <laughs> you can sneak out at night when Dojima isn't around. However, you'll be too tired to go out if you've explored inside the TV that day, so be careful. Hmm... Well, it's nice to know that we have to sneak out into town rather than, you know, just wander out whenever we want. You asked Nanako for permission and changed the channel to the forecast. Well, it looks like the, uh, amateur meteorologist on the school rooftop is semi-right. High school students have club activities. The teacher told us about them today. Oh, that's nice. Did you learn anything else? You open the fridge. There's a half-eaten cup of instant ramen. You left it alone. <laughs> okay, well, at least there's something in there now. Uh, let's go to town. Hopefully Nanako doesn't narc on me, but she seems pleasant enough. Where will you go? In the riverbank, we've got a little doggy. The dog is digging at the ground with a single-minded determination that is admirable. Okay. You keep digging. Enjoy. Anything in the shopping district? Just the velvet room hanging there innocently. The store is closed for today. Fair enough. Alright, on to the next bar. <laughs> Please, boss. No more. Let's go. Shut up. That's an order. I just got promoted. 
You're going to celebrate with me at one more bar. Oh gosh, well, I don't want to get arrested for assault, so I'm just going to leave them alone. I guess I accidentally shoved them to the ground. Hmm, not a lot of people hanging around at night. Oh hey, Yosuke, you're here. Why are you out so late, kid? Be careful, there's ghosts around here. <laughs> okay, well, uh, Yosuke's there. I do know I should probably have personas that match the arcana. And I don't have one of the magicians, so let's head to the Velvet Room before we speak with Yosuke, just to maximize our chances of increasing our bond with him. Well, I had a good excuse to fuse Jack Frost of the Magician Arcana. Yo! Oh, it's so. What are you doing out and about th this time of night? My shift ended early today, so I was just wandering around. If you're bored, maybe you wouldn't mind talking for a while. By spending time in the shopping district at night with those you have formed social links with, you can become even closer to them. But keep in mind that the social link cannot progress to the next rank at night, since your time is limited. Oh, really? You only have so many days to develop the bonds you form in Inaba. At night, you can become closer to those whose social links you wish to develop and then take them to the next rank during the day. This guy seems bored. He might appreciate it if you talked with him. Since you have Jack Frost, a persona of the Magician Arcana, you can feel you can be closer. Will you spend the evening with Yosuke? I mean, I don't think I've got anything better to do. Hang on, let me just check See these vending machines. Oh, were you busy? Sorry about that. Let's talk some other time. All right, sorry about that, Yosuke. I had to check the vending machine. Yep. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yosuke seems happy. Hmm. Man, you're one unlucky guy. As soon as you transfer here, this murder stuff starts. That normally never happens here. In fact, normally, nothing ever happens here. Well, don't you find it a little bit suspicious then, that only the murders only start occurring when I move here? Well, let me know if you find yourself bored. If you don't mind having me around, I'll hang out with you whenever you want. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> don't mention it. I'm a city boy too, so I know how it is. Yosuke is smiling happily. So tell me, did you bring everything with you from the city? Yeah, when I moved here, it was such a pain unpacking everything that I was using one of the moving boxes as a desk. Oh, jeez. You enjoyed your idle chat with Yosuke. You feel your relationship with Yosuke has grown stronger. You feel your relationship with Yosuke could become stronger soon. Excellent. Whoa! Crap. How long have we been talking here? We should both be getting home. Oh yeah, here, have this. I heard it's pretty good. You can have this. You received cough drop from Yosuke. Thank you for this wonderful gift. Well, see ya. Just what I always wanted. Night. A cough drop. You part with Yosuke and go home. Sending data to the cloud. Speaking of clouds, it's a cloudy day today. Oh, are you hungry? Or are you lonely? <laughs> of course, everyone is lonely. Bypass. Morning. Morning. Hey, did you see that just now? What a cute cat. Yukiko and me gave it some food a while back, but it just won't take to me. Oh well, I'm more of a dog person anyway. Oh yeah, I got a text from Yukiko. She said she's slowly getting better. It doesn't seem like there's any weird lasting effects, so that's good. I'm relieved to hear that. All we have to do is wait until she gets better. Let's hold off on the other stuff until then. Nice. That dude is always late. I mean, is he even late? We're the ones walking to school and he's running along. Yosuke? What's up? Doing anything? Oh yeah, if you have time after school, let's go get something to eat. Maybe you should hang out with Yosuke after school. Maybe I should. I like how I just stand there posing. <laughs> All right, all right. Settle down now. Class is now in session. My name is Mr. Hosoi, and in this class, you'll be learning about contemporary writing. Let's all have fun. What the hell is up with that damn puppet? I know this is off topic, but what's the point of applying for colleges outside Inima? Why even bother? Nothing good ever comes out of competing with city folk. The countryside is all you need. Well, since this is our very first lesson, why don't you show me how much you already know? Now then, 
How many parts are there in Murakami's The Wind Up Bird Chronicle? Hanachan, I'm calling on you. I get the feeling you're not much of a reader. Why are you calling upon the person that's not much of a reader then? Uh, hey, I read. I mean, not books, but... So, come on, man, help me here. Oh, damn it, I thought I was dodging the quiz. I don't have my study guide. Ah! Uh... Damn it. Okay. Two, three, seven. How many parts or something? I mean, I guess it's one of these two. Because seven's kind of an outlier. Could be two, a two part, a two parter, or three. Maybe it's a trilogy. Let's go for three. You gave him the answer you think is correct. Very good, Hana-chan. Oh. Damn it, I got caught with my pants down. <laughs> Need to make sure the study guy's with me at all times. Either you're more literary than you look, or that was a lucky guess. I'm not gonna confess that it's the latter. The Wind-Up Bird Chronicle was released as three separate stories. It's the eighth of his twelve published books. His latest book, 1Q84, was published in 2009. Its first printing sold out on the very first day of sale. Speaking of books, uh, there should be new books in stock today. And of course, that's not counting all his short stories and essays, which I don't have time to get into right now, because I speak very slowly and I'm a dull teacher. <laughs> oh, you're a lifesaver, so thanks. Yosuke appreciates you. Aw. I feel you've become a little closer to Yosuke. You're welcome, my friend. Your expression has increased. <laughs> Classes have ended for today. You are waiting for Yukiko to recover. Sure am. It's Wednesday. No club practice today. Let's go look around. There's Yosuke. And uh, we did say we were going to hang out with him after school, so we might as well. Yo! Yo, so, if you're free, you want to go somewhere? Yosuke wants to go somewhere. Since you have Jack Frost, a persona of the Magician Arcana, you should be able to get closer. Will you spend time with Yosuke? We'll spend the afternoon with Yosuke. Let's check out Social Link rank. Yosuke Hanamura, Yosuke Hanamura, Social Link rank 1. You will discover personas with an affinity for the Magician Arcana, personas talented in techniques. You can see the power of the personas, you can see the power of the personas of Magician. There's still power hidden within. I feel your relationship with Yosuke is going to become closer soon. Right, okay, well, I learned some attacks that personas can use, or their skills, I should say. Not all of them are attacks. Spend time with Yosuke. All right! Let's go, then. Yosuke looks happy. Just by hanging out with him, I get notes, okay? That's how good we are. Everyone wants to be me out here. In <laughs> Inaba, the city boy. Shopping district, Sozai Daikagu. The famous steak croquettes are tough. <laughs> Sticking chunks of steak and croquettes. Man, this really is the country, huh? At least you finally took me out for that steak. Well, it is good, though it's tough. Chie called this stuff tender and juicy. What kind of teeth does she have? <laughs> oh, you can hear the women's conversation. He's from Juness. Yasagami High School, right? His classmate, Sato-san, went out of business. This shopping district could disappear, and yet... Oh, go away. <laughs> I like how they even stop and talk. Jeez, don't have the audacity to just move on. Uh, sorry about that. You know me, I'm infamous around here. Must be tough. Nah, it's not really. It's mainly my parents. I'm not personally involved. Anyways, there's nothing I can do about it. Yosuke shrugs. Hmm. Come on. You can be real with me, Yosuke. I don't think there's anyone in Inaba who doesn't know me. At school or around town. Not that I mind, but it sucks that I always gotta mind my manners. Yosuke smiles cheerfully. You feel you understand Yosuke a bit more. Yeah, that would suck. Being held to a higher standard because one slip up and they're just gonna use that against you. Magician rank two. We have got ten ranks. Good to know. Yosuke Hanamura social link has reached level two. Your power to create personas of the Magician Arcana has grown. Yosuke's growth of the heart has affected his persona as well. Oh, really? How oh, we get social link skills? Jiraiya has learned Trafuri. Excellent. Your, so your social rank increases as you spend time with the person you have made a social link with. The XP bonus gained when fusing personas increases as the social rank of that arcana increases. In addition, cultivating social links may lead to finding new social links. 
Find as many social links as you can and increase your social ranks to strengthen your personas. Still, this croquette is damn good, huh? I'm gonna have another. You want one too, right? Okay, let's head home. Eat croquettes with Yosuke until your stomach started to bulge, then went home. <laughs> Welcome home! I'm home! Dojima around? No? I'm leaving. I feel bad! Dojima is not around, so I leave Nanako by herself. Let's just see what I can do in here. I went to the bookstore, but it was full of all these crazy books. I didn't have the ma it didn't have the manga I like to read. Oh, so you're back to the quiz show then. It's just gonna tell me about the weather. Uh, okay, well let's head outside then, see what we can find. Hey, Chie's out here tonight. That's good. Okay, Yosuke's not. Which is fine. I do have a chariot persona, so we're all huh? good to go. Huh? Hey, Sokun. What are you doing out? Me? I went to Aya because I got a little hungry. Oh yeah, if you have time, want to talk for a bit? Chia seems bored. She might appreciate it if you talk with her. Since you have not Taishi, a persona of the chariot arcana, you feel you can become closer. Should you spend the evening with Chie? Of course. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Chie seems happy. I bet you don't know much about this place, seeing as how you just transferred and all. Well, there's not much to know. The only thing I can think of is, um, how much nature we have here? But the people are really nice. Like, if you lose your wallet, it'll definitely come back to you. And if you're ever in a fix, you can always count on me. <laughs> is there anyone you like? What should I do at night? What do you like to eat? Should I just ask? She's the one always asking about other people. Is there anyone you like? Huh? Me? Is that something you suddenly ask a lady? Uh, not particularly. Which is like those are off limits. I plead the fifth. She seems embarrassed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Most restaurants here close real early, but Aya stays open late. I keep getting lured in by the delicious smells from inside. I see. You enjoyed your idle chat with Chie, even if I did come off a bit strong. I feel your relationship with Chie has grown stronger. I feel your relationship with Chie could become stronger soon. Of course it will, because we're still in the early huh? stages. So, uh, I'm allowed that blunder. But we gotta work on our social skills. Whoa, how long have we been talking? I got so caught up in the conversation. Oh yeah, I want you to have this. From me to you. You received choco melon bread from Chie. Well, it's better than a cough drop, I'll tell you that much. That's my number one recommendation lately. You should try it. Well, I'm gonna get going. Good night! You walked Chie to her house and went home. 21st. No fog in sight. Chie? Is that you? Nope. Oh, it's my... It's my, uh... My basketball team member. Cool. Yo, so... You know we've got practice today, right? You better be there, man. See you later. Maybe you should show up to basketball practice after school. Oh uh, yeah, I got a captain of the team. These guys are gonna be like headless chickens without me. Classes have ended for today. You're waiting for Yukiko to recover. Before we head into practice, I realized I didn't explore town uh, during the day. So let's have a look. Yumanai-san has new books in. A lovely man. Oh, I read it and it was great. It made me feel pumped up with courage. There are some new how-to books about studying and fishing too. I guess somebody must be interested in them. The next shipment is going to be May 6th. Man, am I excited. <laughs> they don't get books often out here. Person behind the incident? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, look at this town. Everyone's so carefree. Oh, but enough about that. I need to get a job. I asked, but the gas station isn't hiring. The bulletin board on the north side of the shopping district posts new jobs. I think they'll do it on the 23rd. Jeez, she promised me a job. I didn't even get a response. I won't go home until three trucks pass by. That's what I've decided. Why trucks? I don't think anyone drives on this road, otherwise I'd have gotten run over by now. Because that's what I've decided. It can be changed now. And trucks don't come very often. <laughs> hey kid. Huh? What do you want? You're not from around here, are you? I'm busy with errands for my sister. Oh, if only this was a part-time job. Doing all this for no reward? I can't believe it. The notice says that starting the 23rd you can apply for a part-time job. But at my age, getting hired is impossible. 
Yeah, well, don't be in such a hurry to get into jobs, dude. Enjoy your childhood, man. <laughs> I saw the news, but the first murder victim, the news announcer Yamano, she was on the I television sign. Her relationship with the council secretary was discovered, and she was pulled from her TV appearances. Cheating is a terrible thing. I was a fan of hers, so it was like she was betraying me personally. That's why, when she became a victim, I wasn't really surprised. All right, let's quickly sell our stuff at Daidara. Sell old materials for a increase in 32k yen. Yes, please. Oh, it's a black lamp. Well, he really went to town. I can finally buy some new stuff. I might as well spend all my money. Because I can, because I'm rich. <laughs> Sell my imitation katana. Okay, topped up with the best equipment in the business. Let's buy some books. The Lovely Man, price 1200 yen. The Famous Man series, now in stock. Books can be read somewhere that you can be alone. Perhaps you should try reading them on the sofa in your room once you're home. Okay, so that's something we can do at night then, uh, if we're stuck at home. Uh, I bought the study guide as well, so that'll hopefully boost our knowledge when it comes to studying. Okay, let's uh, join the club. Allow me to explain the Persona Compendium and other aspects of it. The Persona Compendium registers all of the Personas in your possession and all of their abilities. After registration, the Persona can be summoned with the same abilities as many times as you like. However, the stronger the Persona, the greater the cost to summon it will be. Simply registering a Persona is free of charge. You may also override previously registered personas as often as you, as you like. Do so however you like. Uh, let's view the compendium. I need a strength persona, uh, persona please. Well, thankfully I didn't spend all my money. Should be fine now to go back to school. Okay, let's get some practice in. You can go to the gym or the field from here since you have Sandman. You two might get along well. Or well, three of us actually. You feel your relationship with Ko will become closer. Spend time with the basketball club? Yes. Yasugami High Gym. You attended basketball practice. Your diligence has increased. <sighs> Man, I'm hungry. Hey, so, Ayo or Juness, you decide. Uh, let's go to... Aya. <laughs> oh, you really know what's up. Their Huigo... Their Huigo Ro is awesome. There's a gleam in Ko's eyes. I just thought you'd prefer to support local businesses rather than Juness. Sorry, Yosuke. Huh. Ko, hurry up! Hey! The soccer teams are done already? You guys are fast, man. Don't you have cleaning up to do? <laughs> yeah, but I don't have to do that stuff. Hmm. Oh yeah, this girl in my class was looking for you. She made something for you in home ec. She said, Ko-chan loves sweets, or something like that. Hmm. Well, I do like me some sweets. <laughs> uh, I'm jealous. No, no, we're just friends. Ko's laughing. I don't mind the sweets and all that, but I wish you'd stop calling me Ko-chan. I swear, the more girls I tell not to call me that, the more they seem to enjoy doing it. <sighs> I hate my name, Ko. It's such a crappy name. I mean, you can change it, right? Maybe, later on. Well, what are you gonna do? I guess I'll go pick him up. <laughs> you like sweets, so? Want me to get you some, too? Uh, sure. <laughs> if I mention you, I bet you'd give me tons. Alright, leave it to me. I'll get us some much candy. We'll be too fat to practice. Ko is pumped up. Your relationship with Ko seems to have grown stronger. Nice. Okay, rank two for strength. Fellow athletes, social link has reached level two. Your power to create personas of the strength of Kana has grown. I'm off. Hey Daisuke, so, don't leave without me, alright? If you're not here when I get back, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Funny thing is, he's probably serious. Great. Alright, let's go home. You waited for Ko and stopped by a few places together before going home. Welcome home! Thank you. The rain stopped. Huh. Uh, Dojima again not here. This answer is hard. Nanako is absorbed in the quiz show. You should leave her alone. <laughs> well, there's not much going on in town, so I think I'm just gonna retire to my room and read the book. As of today, you could spend the night in your room. <laughs> As of today. <laughs> Previously, I could not. You can also work outside. Once you have a job, you'll be able to, you will be able to leave home <laughs> to access it in the shopping district. 
The calendar near the door to your room has important dates listed on it, so make use of it to plan your time. You remember that you have a book that you haven't finished yet. Perhaps you could sit on the sofa and read. Or you should sit on the sofa and read. This month's schedule is... Empty. So for show a day. On the 29th of April. Cool. Well, uh... Let's look at our room. Which program would you like to watch? Watch the Midnight Channel, watch the weather forecast. Ooh, look, I can watch the Midnight Channel. Dojima provided you with a shelf. You don't have anything to place on it. At least for now. Futon has been prepared. If you'd like to pass the time to the next day without doing anything, sleep on the futon. You may have a dream. Go to sleep? No. I'm gonna read my book. Eh. A sofa suitable for reading on. You have a book right now. Read. Ooh. Let's start with the lovely man. Get our courage up so we can go to the shrine. Read the lovely man? Yes. You begin reading the lovely man. Every chapter begins. All men have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves. This spirit of true manhood transcends space and time, and all people of all cultures and genders feel its call. You feel more like a real man than ever before. <laughs> There's still some pages of the lovely man left. You decide to save them to read next time. Jeez. You know I wrote this book, right? Me, Sawaku Sr. Hey, don't rush. If we go together, just leave me alone. <laughs> What's up? More than so. What was that about? Is that kid already at that rebellious age? <laughs> well, these murders must have parents around here pretty worried. Oh, about that culprit? I was thinking about it some, and I don't understand him at all. We don't even know if it's a him. It seems like a lot of effort to dump someone into a TV. How's he doing it? The more I think about it, the more confused I get. He is right. It is a lot of effort to drag someone to a TV that they can fit in and throw them inside without anyone knowing who you are so hmm maybe he's got some power that lets him or her do it easily let's wait for Yukiko to recover you're right let's come back to this after we've heard Yukiko's side of things there's that guy again my corner of the stairs What's up? Hey, you have anything going on? If you're free this afternoon, can you come with me? There's some place I want to go. Think about it, okay? Maybe you should hang out with Yosuke after school. Maybe I should. Maybe I should hang out with Chie, if I can find her. Classes have ended for today. You are waiting for Yukiko to recover. So many social links, so little time. So is also my name. 